It's one of those things where the house itself is pretty cold, but when I shut on my office door and then like three electric devices are on <laughs> and two screens and the doors are closed and there's all the sound, it's like, yeah, it gets a bit, it gets a bit warm. It's got but, like your PlayStation and your PC warm in the room for you. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing is, how can the PlayStation be so hot if it sounds so fucking loud with that fan? <laughs> God, it pisses me off every time I turn it on and I think this thing costs $400. Yeah. Also, I know I speak in dollars, folks, at home. I, I'm... I write in Americanisms for so long, like dollars now a part of my vocabulary, I hate it. Anyway, welcome to episode whatever and Mission 10 of Devil May Cry. Lucas, are you ready <laughs> to go kick some fucking ass? Uh, yeah, because we're playing as Dante now. We are playing as Dante, yes, yeah, so we get to have some fun. Yeah, I haven't seen him in the game yet, so I'm excited. So let's go. Yeah, look at that, use Devil Trigger. Slowly regain vitality. Also, for quick vi um, vitality, so you get health back with Devil Trigger. Oh, okay, yeah. Which is one of the reasons Dante is, like, paradoxically easier to use than Nero, because you get a lot more leeway in the things he's allowed to do. Mm. Like, Dante can take a few hits, but at the same time, his moveset is so um, expansive that he'll never take hits. Oh, fair so, enough. Yeah, let's, and one of the things I've been doing is, because you've been moving, haven't you, Lucas? I have been, yeah. Um, I have been, uh, just on stream, instead of playing Smash Bros with you, I've just been practicing Double May Cry. So hopefully... Hopefully, I will be able to style with Dante. <laughs> I will try my best, but I will point out that I am nowhere near as good with Dante as I am with Nero, because let's just show it off right now. Um, Dante has four styles. Trickster, Swordmaster, um, the Dab, because you got a dab on the opponent. Gunslinger. Each one comes with its own unique moves. Uh, Trickster, for example, gives you all these mobility options, air dodge, things like that. Uh, you can switch between them on the fly, so I can go into Trickster and then go into Royal Guard to block. Oh, okay. Uh, Royal Guard is blocking. I'm sure you know all these, Lucas, but we'll explain it for people who maybe yeah. don't. Uh, Royal Guard is block. Uh, you can block any attack in the game, uh, regardless of the amount of damage it will do on any difficulty. Uh, there is no attack any enemy can do that Dante cannot block. Oh, God, my uh... PC is going for... Oh, God, what happened? What did you see there, mate? Uh, just, like, green lines came up and it went to black. Oh, God, no, just the darkness happened. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I... This has been happening for a, a couple of minutes now. I'm just unplug my Elgato and plug it back in. I don't know what's going on. Uh, my Elgato is just shitting the bed. It's great. I love I love how much it costs and the fact it doesn't work. That's <laughs> my favourite thing about it. So it's back. Oh okay, god, so I've got my screen back. What have you got? Dove May Cry back. Uh, no. <sighs> I guess we better try this recording malarkey again then. Let's try that, shall we? Because everything's went green. We've not had that happen in a while, have we? Uh, no. It was just like fucking frame one. Just start the day and nope. Yeah, just we try to just explain. You know what Dante can't block, folks at home, if we use this footage? <laughs> um, he can't parry existential things from outside his own universe. So I guess that's the thing. Oh, it's like, oh, Dante can block anything. Elgato just steps in like, well. It's like, no, like, you know what, Royal Guard, this thing, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I might have to start and stop. All right, so before we were rudely interrupted by <laughs> the PlayStation 4 itself saying, so Dante can parry anything, eh? Can he parry this shit? <laughs> and just my game completely shitting the bed. We are back. Uh, I'll continue my explanation, I suppose, of um, Gunslinger. Is you have multiple guns, and you can just shoot the gun. This is fun. Gunslinger lets you do dumb things with your guns. For example, oh, okay. this. With the shotgun, you can do this. Oh, oh. <laughs> so pointless. Uh, and with your pistols. Because why? Oh, I love that move. It's one of the best moves in the game. And it also means you can, like, rapid fire one gun and fire one, like, armor breaking shot the other one. It also charges your pistols. And then with Swordmaster, same thing, but with um, your swords. It lets you do all manner of different moves that are cool and weird and awkward. So without further ado, let's go fucking kick some ass. And so, what style do you tend to use? Uh, Swordmaster most of the time, just because more damage. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to disappoint people by saying that I'm really, really bad at uh, Royal Guard. I know people will want to see Royal Guard shenanigans. I can't. The parry tech. I will try my best against certain enemy types. So, Carl. Uh, yes. At the moment of recording, like, mm. I've seen that the special edition is just coming out. Yes, Virgil is here. He is. And have you heard, like, what they've done on the PS5 for this game? No. Tell me what they've done. 
Uh, so, they've made it so that, you know, they've got a haptic feedback in the dual sense. Yes. Um, but you know what that means? What it that means mean? that the triggers will, like, fight back a little bit while you're pressing them. Oh, that's going to be great for Devil May Cry. Well, for Nero especially, when you've told me, like, how every oh. single hit you should be pressing that trigger. Yes. So, I'd like to point out there that I've now got triple S because I perfect parried <laughs> that enemy's three attacks. Something I wasn't sure I'd be able to do, and I practiced really hard to try and land. <laughs> but, yeah, that's just amazing to me that, like... It sounds really cool on paper, and it sounds like it'll feel amazing for 30 seconds yeah. until your finger just starts to absolutely cane. <laughs> so, you know what? I'll take that as... Um, that was a good opening with Dante, yeah, I'll give you that. I'll take that as my practice going pretty well. That while we were having a casual conversation, I got a perfect triple S in which I royal guarded one of the most difficult enemies to royal guard. Because it has these really big awkward swings that are difficult to see. Uh, yeah, that's, um, what, like, that's I, what Dante should be, but we'll yeah. see if you can keep it up. I'll try. I'm going to try my best <laughs> to not get hit. And right away I remember talking to you about this weapon here, where it's two weapons in one. Oh yeah. And it's kicks, which let you do capoeira, and you have all these like cool capoeira things you can do. And gauntlets, which let you do boxing. The problem is that neither one's fighting style feels complete. And also, you see that I'm on fire right now. Literally mm -hmm. on fire. Uh, to power up my fire for the legs, I have to do that animation. So let's just watch uh... that again. Let's have a look at how long you have to complete that entire animation. Jesus. Um, with my fists on, I need to land 10 punches in a row. Look how many punches that Dante <laughs> throws. So right away you can see which one is better, and the idea mm. is that you switch between them casually on the fly, but why would I do that? When I can already switch between two weapons as it is, and as I've explained, like, oh, bye lady! Oh, okay. Because yeah. that's what the thing of, like, oh, they're not even giving her a move set. Yeah. And yeah, like that, speaking of that haptic feedback thing, it looks great right up until you don't want to deal with it. Yeah. It's the same thing as, like, uh, PlayStation 3. The exact same thing all over again with the 6-axis, where, oh, yeah, it sounds really great on paper, right up until you want to just play a game normally. Oh, God. Yes. And luckily with the um, the haptic feedback, it looks like you can just turn it off if you want to. Um, so it's not like it's something that's required for the game. As far as I'm aware, I've not played it myself yet. But I have a dual sense, I just don't have a PlayStation yet. Yeah, I love that, that you got your dual sense first. <laughs> Just, I get, like, they're trying to um, probably just ease up on delivery needs for, yeah. like, you know, COVID times. But it's just like, oh, yeah, we're going to send your, your controller a week early. It's like, okay. I love it. Ting! So you saw that. I did. Like, as much as Nero seems like the just easier way to play, yeah, like, I, I suppose. The shit you can do with Dante is just incredible. Yeah. Like, it you really can notice is. now, I'm not like, I'm just having fun. Dante <laughs> is just fun. Like, I'm not as good with him as I am with Nero, because Nero's, like, you've got his entire moveset. Mm -hmm. And he's a lot better at taking out individual enemies, but Dante can just do shit like this. Like, oh, I'm just going to cancel my flying kick into another flying kick. <laughs> he's also got some of the best taunts in the game. Well, it's Dante. He's got to have the best taunts, doesn't he? It's like, as much as it weirds me out, like, I played um, Devil May Cry 4, I was like, I, I played a bit of 3 uh, before playing 4, but 4 was the one I completed first. Yes. And going back through that game, like, the second half as Dante, where you don't have the Devil Bringer, Just, I was like, I don't understand Dante. Yeah, I won the Devil Bringer, and it's the same in this, where just Nero feels like he's able to fight enemies a lot better because hmm. of the Devil Bringer. Also, yeah, teleporting enemies, I run away, I love it. <laughs> At least Dante can do sh Dante, though, has the ability to just do this. Just, whoop, just teleport next to him. <laughs> and it's one of those things that I get that um, Dante is, like, the more complex of the two. Mm. But when it's like, oh, you get basically easy mode with Nero, and then without any, like, tutorial or help, you get thrown into using Dante, and it just doesn't feel yeah. as good. And it's the same in this game as well, because they throw you straight in and give you four styles to use at once. And in yeah. Devil May Cry 4, it's even worse. Dante technically has five styles, and he has... As people can see, I've got two weapons. That is my loadout. People run with, like, all seven at once. And when I was streaming it, because I put, obviously, Devil May Cry 5, people who just play the game and aren't fans of my channel were watching. 
And every mm -hmm. time people are like, oh, are you doing a challenge run? You're not using every weapon at once. And it's like, oh. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> why are you not using every single weapon at once? It's like, oh, I'm, I play Devil May Cry 3 a lot, so that's what I'm used to. Yeah. I love this. Who looks at this spinning, whirling, <laughs> just like steel maelstrom and goes, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna shave. <laughs> Do you know what that is? Gillette can fuck off. That's the closest a man can get. <laughs> That's fucking but, amazing. And I hate this enemy type. Like, I don't know who this dickhead is, but he doesn't look fun. It's because that spinning attack is really awkward to use Royal Guard against. Yeah. As ever, like, because, yeah, it hits, but you, it, oh. You never know exactly when it's going to go forward. There's probably a trick to it, but I've never learned it. It's just kill it straight away. Always kill it first. Like, you're just fighting demons on it, Carl. I am. And there it is. There's the, um, just the enemy deleter. That's Dante's <laughs> best move. Real impact. Oh, okay. So this is just like, to just get used to it, so. But yeah, like I know that Nero. I think they've they've got Nero a bit better in this game in terms of personality. But you just yeah. can't top Dante. No, he's not the best. Like Nero's like always been a bit of a cocky shit, but Dante's just like he's the style master. Yeah, he is. He's the style god. But like this, I'm gonna try every time. Oh, I've, I've never royal guarded that properly. <laughs> And I imagine, like, Royal Guard is the type of thing where if somebody's good at it, it's you are just ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, and that's the annoying thing, though, about this, uh, trying to play this game like, when I'm on, uh, when I was doing those streams. Everyone's like, oh, just Royal Guard everything. It's like, I can't. It's really difficult. <laughs> but I know for people who play this game all the fucking time, because bear in mind, I'm, like, streaming it, like, two years or a year after it came out, and there's people coming in going, yeah, I have to play this game every day. It's like, I don't. I can't yeah. Royal Guard everything. I'm going to try my best. Because that's the thing is that I know Royal Guard is the best thing, but doesn't mean I can do it. Yeah, I know that you can block every attack in the game. I'll try my best. Yeah, because I should say most people that... So this is kill everything as quickly that. as possible. Oh, okay. Oh, and yeah, a lot of people that, um, A lot of people that will come in and say that will be like, literally, I practice Royal Guard every fucking day. And it's just like, oh, God. Try and, like... Off memory, Royal Guard, that shit. Yeah. Well, it's on reaction, but it's like every enemy has tells, and I can't remember what. And stuff like this, where it's just teleporting enemy. Yeah. Thankfully, Dante has Balrog, which is just you jab. You just throw out the jab, and you'll <laughs> parry it every time. Oh, Lucas, what's it got? I'm just jabbing it while he's nearly dead. So, is that basically like a bit of a hard count of that guy? Yeah, if you just throw out this jab here, um, it can never attack. Oh, God, I forgot. Run, 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 run. Give me all here we go. Oh, like, worried about getting all those orbs. Man, I need them. You said you need them for a Dante weapon, right? Yes, which I'm going to use right at the end. So I'm, there's one boss that I don't want to fight, so I'm just going to use the pay to win <laughs> uh, So we can show, show off, like, a bit of Balrog. It's like, you know, it's fist gauntlets. Whoa, 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 whoa. And this is a weapon Dante starts with, and it's explained that he got it off screen. Just off screen, he went and killed um, the guy who replaces Burial, I think it is, from 4. Oh, okay. So he's like the king of the fire realm. It says that yeah. another demon took over, and between games, Dante went and killed him. And got <laughs> and just got this. And it has a couple of neat things, like such as when you jump, if you are on fire at least. So set yourself on fire, you put fire around you, which can also parry enemy attacks. And when combined with the fact that all jumps in this game have a couple of frames of invincibility, so you can jump to dodge any attack. Um, uh. It means you can jump and parry at the same time. So one of the things, as long as you are constantly fired up, you can just parry everything, basically, by jumping <laughs> backwards. Because it allows you to parry, or basically attack, and be invincible at the same time, which not a lot of characters yeah. can do. I've also seen as well that Virgil does have the ability to parry, um, but it's better. Like, he has Royal Guard, but you have to, like, um, do it perfectly or it doesn't work. It's like, yeah, oh, of course God. Virgil would. <laughs> of course Virgil would have something that's better than Dante. Well, I, I saw that, like, um, I've, I've never played as Virgil in any of the games, but he's got, like, a concentration mechanic. Yes, which is from uh, number four. And right. I, I, I talked about how it doesn't work in four, because the idea behind how it works is you, in four at least, I've not played Virgil in this version, mm -hmm. is that you have to be close to the enemy. 
and all of his moves have secondary effects when he's got his full concentration. The problem is that a lot of enemies are designed for you being near them and have like area of effect attacks that you're supposed to run away from. Right. Which means that Virgil, and he doesn't have the ability to retreat. Why would he retreat if all his attacks revolve around being close to you? Yeah. So like, for example, Burial, we just talked about, he has a big, you probably remember fighting him, that big screen clearing fire attack. Yes. Virgil can't <laughs> dodge that unless he's in Devil Trigger because the only way he can dodge backwards is like that. So you have to Devil Trigger and then do this awkward motion to dodge backwards away from it. Uh, Otherwise, okay. if you run away, you lose your concentration meter and you don't get a good style ranking for that fight. Yeah, because that's like how I heard it described is just you have to time your moves well, not take hits, and like continue the fight. So I'm presuming that because they put a lot more effort into it for this one and they've tried to make him like more fully fledged, he's probably going to be a lot better. So let's just see how much I. Oh, Lucas. No. And you'll see there that I did Royal Guard <laughs> that, but I didn't Royal Guard it right. I. And you'll know when I Royal Guard something right, because my style beat will go up like a mad amount, as opposed to just a little bit. So is it like a parry and then a perfect parry? Perfect parry, yes. And the yeah. parry can block basically any light attack from a small to medium-sized enemy. You cannot block boss attacks with that. Boss attacks have to be perfect parried, or they don't get parried, and you take damage. And it, bla it breaks your Royal Guard, and you take damage, and you're stunned for a few seconds where you can get hit. So obviously you don't want that. Mm-hmm. But I do, I do always enjoy in games where it's like, yeah, you can do the perfect parry, but we'll also give you a parry with a bit of a downside, but a bit more of a lenient timing. Yeah, and the, the way it works in this is that if you are in like double trigger, that parry mm. window is increased and you can take more damage while doing it. So if you're, in like uh, okay. if you're in like double trigger, you can basically parry everything, even if you haven't got perfect timing, because you have like super armor and oil moves, including your stuff like that. I mean, that's how Devil Trick should work, really. Yeah, it's like, it is a get out of jail free card. It's why I try and set, make sure I always have it. Mm. So you'll notice that when I'm playing as Dante, I'll only use it, I'll switch to it for like single attacks and switch out. Yeah, I save it for when I need help. Damage. I love when enemies run away. It's great. This is like, it's, so annoying to watch. Like. Yeah, it's one, it's one of the worst enemies in the game, because all it does is this. It's alright when it's in a big group, but like when you go, there we go. Oh, it teleport away. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're trying to like lock it into a combo and it just gets out and goes away. It's like, why? Oh, for fuck's sake. That's why I'm trying to Royal Guard that. But it's super annoying. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, right there, you just activate your devil trigger, run yeah, into run, it, oh, and it's right like, away. nope, go. Yeah. Bear in mind as well, like, the, whole, the whole thing of this is, like, oh, you need to kill all the enemies in this area fast. <laughs> so that you can get the bonus in the other room. <laughs> no, Carl, fuck you. And it seems like it wouldn't be as bad with Nero when you could just fucking grab it. Yeah. The thing is, though, it blocks Nero's grab. Oh my god. Of course it does. Don't you love enemies that run away, though? And I killed it there by jumping. Oh, I was waiting for him to do, like, a big just star jump out of that. Uh, but now I lost my bonus, so the bonus was through there. And that's why I fucking hate that enemy type. <laughs> uh, because we've like we play a couple of character action games on my channel now. Yeah. Has there ever been a time like I'm not amazing at these games, but I really do like them and I try my best. Mm -hmm. Have I struggled against like any enemy ever? Like, not particularly. Even, like, apart Megatron. from like the giant space dildo. Yeah, and then stuff like um, in God of War the Valkyries, because oh, yeah. that's just a DPS race. Mm -hmm. I, but you look at me fight those enemies and I look like I can't do anything about it. These ladies work fast. That like when you see me try to fight that enemy and it's like, Carl, why can't you get near him? Because he just runs away. Yeah, it seems weird to me. Like, is there no option to like stun it out you, of... Um... You can shotgun it, is what people are going to be saying in the comments. Right. Like, you hit it with your shotgun, but it's like, because that's the only enemy where you have to do that. It's like, I always forget. Yeah. So let's just go, yeah, let's dance. Let's dance on my opponent. So, don't worry, Carl. I'm, I'm sure there were already plenty of comments before you just said that. Oh, dance, dance. See, like, as annoying as you said, like, these enemies are to the Royal Guard, at least they get in your face. Yeah. Uh, the thing, I just hate the Judekas, but I'm glad they're in the game, because if every enemy was just, like, you style on them forever, where's the fun yeah. in that? Let's dance. Oh, but it's play. just, we always point out, like, enemies that, like, run away, or, like, flying enemies, it's just like, teleporting enemies. Why do you do it? 
It's like every game we've played seems to suffer with it. Because this is the character action staple, you have to put the annoying enemy type in. The worst one it's ever been is in Devil May Cry 3, where there's an enemy that is completely invincible from the front. <laughs> and you can only hit it from the back, and if you try and hit it from the side, you get damaged because it has like razor blades on it. Right. So there's only literally one thing you can do about it, and then there's an even worse enemy later in the game. You think, oh, that's the worst enemy. Well, they don't make you fight them a lot. There's another enemy that can be completely intangible, and it hides inside the walls. <laughs> and it will just fly into the wall and stay there. And it's like, how am I supposed to beat this? <laughs> it's like, why would you put an enemy that is completely intangible and hides inside walls? Yeah. I just think about it, they've solved that problem with the Sin Scissors. Like, well, they will hide inside the walls, but they're fun to fight. Yeah. Hell bet. Look at that album cover. <laughs> and I'm not a big fan of these enemies, just because the game has a nasty habit of sending hundreds of them at your once. Ah, uh, right. And they will do that. They launch that nice, big attack. <laughs> That's like a shotgun spread, that was. And then do that attack as well. But obviously, yeah. Of course, Dante can parry flames. Like, of course he can. It's fucking Dante. Like, why is it still spitting fire? Because it's trying its best, Lucas. God. Let's get it. I want to get in the corner so I can just do, like, the, the enemy step cancel on it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah! Because if oh, you get it and yeah. you do, like, five in a row, it looks really cool. Uh, this thing is still alive, Carl. Oh, yeah, oh there we go. go. It's fine. Just the one. You always have to give it the one. Ignite the flame, Lucas. Let's do it. Yeah, fight with invisible <laughs> enemy. Lucas, how can it attack me from doing this? Like, how do you attack a man who's styling so hard? <laughs> oh, parried him with the dance! Yeah. See, the, even this enemy is, like, fun to fight because you can do that. And even though it runs away, it will attack you on occasion. Yeah. Oh, look him go. <laughs> just twirl. I have to do it. Because he's one of the best attack. He does so much damage. It just looks amazing as well. Yeah. Like, even when I didn't know what I was doing in Devil May Cry, like, I just wanted that. to do that move. Oh, Isn't it like effect. Bullet Rain? Is that what it's called? Uh, Rainstorm. Oh, Rainstorm. And it's super good as well because um, you can just do it in the air, that. Which is yeah. what you'll see me do a lot. Oh, cool. A gold orb. I look forward to never using this. <laughs> I've got like 30 of them, stop giving me these. Well, even I'm like, you know, as people can tell, not like a Devil May Cry purist or anything, but when I die, I'm just like, no, fuck it, I'll just start again and get the better style ranking.